Are you using a link shortener system? If you're not, I highly advise that you start using one. There's so much potential in the links that you're sharing that you're probably wasting those links by just sharing the common link. Now, let me tell you several things that you can do with a link shortener. First of all, you can use a link shortener to obviously shorten links. If they're super long, well, you make them shorter and they're easier to remember. Another reason to use link shorter is to use custom domain. That means it helps you out with your own branding. Instead of sharing links from Facebook, YouTube, random websites, well, you shorten them with your own custom domain and you share that link. Another reason that you want to use a link shortener is to use your pixels. Pixels are used for remarketing purposes and you can use a pixel inside of that link. They won't even know that you're using it, but it's inside of there. Another reason to use a link shortener is for deep linking. All right, what is deep linking? Well, let's just say that I'm actually sharing one of my YouTube videos. If I use the link that YouTube provides me and someone opens it up on their mobile phone, it's going to open up the browser of YouTube. We don't want that. Why? Because chances are they're not even logged in. They can't like and they can't subscribe. But if I use a deep link to share my YouTube video, that means it's going to open up the YouTube app and that's where they are logged in and they can like it and subscribe to it. Deep linking works for several companies, including Facebook, Twitter, and all those. And it's going to open up the app and instead of just opening it up the browser. Another reason we want to use a link shortener is to mask the link. What does that mean? That people don't know where that link is actually going to take you. It doesn't mean that you're going to do something bad with it, but it just means that you're ma masking the link so they don't find out where it's going. So they actually have to go to that link. So those are several reasons that you can use it. And there's several more that I will be talking about on this video. I'm going to show you a deal that's going on right now and you decide if that's something that you need. If not, there's several link shorteners that you can grab. So let's go jump over to my desktop. Okay, I talked about a deal that's going on right now. So this is one of them. It's called Switchy and what it does is a link shortener. Plus there's a twist to it. It also have one link bio pages. That means that you can share these on Instagram and other platforms like TikTok that only allow one single link. And then you go to several links. So that's included in this deal also. So apart from being a link shortener, it's also a bio link link. All right. So this one starts off at $39 for the lifetime deal. You, that means you pay once and use it forever. Let me show you what that deal gets you really quickly. Let's go down here and here it is. So the single stack, that means one code for $39 gets you 30,000 clicks a month. Now that might be a lot or it might not, depending how much traffic you have and influence from those links that you're sharing. So if 30,000 clicks is enough, well, this could be the deal for you. You get access to eight custom domains. Remember, domains are the ones that you own and you can use those for link shortener in case you don't want to use the one that they provide. OK, and you get unlimited links. All right. So you can create as many links as you want every single month. The, the thing that limits is the 30,000 clicks per month. Now, the smart pages, which are the bio links that you can make this stack, the $39 one gets you the, the two smart pages, but it includes logo that might not be something that you're looking forward to. So you might want to jump into the double stack. But let me finish here. There's 10 team members that you can add on the first stack. All right. Second stack obviously gets you more clicks, more custom domains, and you get more smart pages and team members on this smart pages. It doesn't include the logo. So I would recommend this one to be the minimum you decide to buy in case you decide to grab this deal. OK, if you need more clicks, well, and jump to the next code and, code, and you can go all the way up to five, which gives you more and more. OK, it's just going to depend how many clicks you need and smart pages. Now, let's go jump over to the actual dashboard. This is one of the systems I am using for my sharing on Facebook. I use this account exclusively just for Facebook. I don't share these links nowhere else. OK, so what am I doing here? I am shorting links from AppSumo, from the one I just spoke about. And what it does, instead of sharing their link, I'm using my own custom domain. My own custom domain is short.sasmaster.link. OK, and then it gives you the, the name. So it's easier to find. Plus, it has my own branding. A real, real good use case is that you get analytics when people click on these links. Let me show you one of the analytics for this one show stats. This is really useful so you can take decisions in your business. For example, this specific link that's been clicked 73 times, 65 users, eight refers, three devices and 29 countries. So that's the overall. OK, so we have the clicks by date. 
by country. So you're viewing this, it's like, okay, most of the links that are clicking in, in this case and in this link, it's India, all right? And you can view these and hover over them and you know where they are clicking from. So this is useful to take decisions. Like I said, maybe you want to start um, branding in those countries, in that language, et cetera, et cetera. The refers, so this one's coming from Facebook. So like I mentioned before, I use this specifically for Facebook. We have the countries right here where it's from. Device type, so most of them are by phone. So like I mentioned before, deep linking helps you with it because if you open up a link, that if I were sharing a YouTube video, that would help me out. So it opens up the app instead of the browser. There's PC, tablet, and unknown. There's a browser that they're using, unknown, Chrome, Firefox, and Safari, iPhone, PC, tablet, operating systems, and retargeting pixels. This one doesn't have a pixel, so I would have that information there. But you get those analytics from that link that was just shortened. It's super easy to use. Obviously, first of all, just connect your domain so you can point it to here and you can start using it just like I am. So let's just say that I want to grab a link from YouTube. All right, let's go to YouTube. Let's search for SaaS master. All right, here it is. Let's just say I want to share this channel. I'll grab that link. And instead of sharing the YouTube link, I'll use this one. I just pasted my link there. I'm going to switch it and it's gonna shorten that link. First of all, it's gonna read that information and it's going to give me a preview of the image that's going to be displayed. If I share this link right now on Facebook, that's the image that it's going to show, but I could change that image if I like. So I have options to upload my own image, use a URL to grab the image from there, screenshot, Jiffy, Pexels, Pixel Bay, grab images from there if you like, and it's gonna change it to yours change the title and the description. These are things that you can't do if you just go share the link. If I just go share this link, well, I don't have all those options. I can add my pixels here. I won't click on them so I don't show the pixel numbers, but they're there. UTM parameters, if you need to add them to keep better tracking of your links, and then choose the domain. So in this case, I'm using this domain. I have other domains connected here. Well, no, they're not showing here, but Here's the switchy ones that I can use also if I don't connect my own domain. And then I'll just customize to whatever I wanted to say, YouTube channel link, all right? And that's gonna give me my own custom domain with that customization. And you have advanced options. Let me go into advanced options. You can add these to folders. You can add notes to them for reference for later on. So let's just say, hey, you know what? This link is gonna stop working on, I don't know, January, 2022. So that way I can go check out the comments and I'll say, oh, I need to update that link. Just random comments that you might need. Embed widget. So if you want to add embed a widget here, you can enable this. I don't have any activated because I don't use these. Some of these widgets won't work on some sites because it'll block them from loading, but you can add chat widgets, some pop-ups or whatever, and you can embed them by clicking on there. Next thing we have is deep linking. It knows I'm not using a YouTube video link. It's just my channel. But if this was a YouTube link, it'll automatically detect it. And it's going to know that if someone on a mobile phone clicks on it, it's going to open up the app instead of the browser, which is what we want. Okay. Link clocking is to mask the link. So they don't know where that link is going to take you to. If you want to add tags to it for later reference, do you want to rotate a B testing? That means that if you want to take them to three, four links, well, you rotate these on A-B testing so you can later go check out the analytics and see which link is giving you more sales or more clicks or more time for video reproduction, whatever you want to analyze, okay? Uh, geolocation, if you want to redirect them or stop people from viewing that link if they're on a certain location, give them a link expiration. So if we want to say, hey, you know what? This is going to be a concert and it's going to be over in a month. And I don't, I don't want anyone to view that link that we're sharing after that month. So we can have an expiration date, add a GDPR pop-up if you like, and the fab icon if we want to change it. So that's going to grab it from the link from YouTube. But if you wanted a custom one, you can do it there. And if you're good to go and if you like it, you know what? That's a customized link that I want. Get my link for that. And here it is. Here's my own custom domain link with something I could remember. Now in this case, I just added something long, but I know that later on, if I'm adding deals, I know always that, hey, it's gonna be the name of the deal, the link. And I know that I don't even have to go back to Swishy and go search for it. That's something that you can do. 
Now, a really good use case, like I mentioned before, is that if you need to update the link without having to go every single place where you share it, well, this is super useful. Let's just say that for some reason, the link on my YouTube channel changed. But hey, you know what? I shared my link on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, several fan pages or whatever, and I don't want to go to every single one of those links and go change the link over there. Well, you don't have to. This is why you want to use a link shorter. I'll go click on this pencil, I'll edit the link, and I'll get, I can change the new link. So let's just say it's Taskmaster 2 now. I'll update the link, okay? And it's gonna be the same custom domain link that I created, but I will change where it's going to go to. So I don't have to go everywhere and change that link. Super useful in those cases. So for the link shorter, that is the main part, okay? You can do so much with it, but that's just for the link shorter. Obviously, you can move these into folders, create workspaces, add your pixels, add your custom domains, depending on how many you have, and that's for the link shorter. But remember, Switchy has the bio link link, okay? And that's over here, smart pages. They call it smart page. You can call it whatever you want. For example, this is one that I'm playing with. I think it's this one and I'll go ahead and edit it. And it's practically, it's your own little link, okay? You can share this and it makes it easier. I think the other one looks better. Let me go ahead and open this one. There we go. So this is something I can share. It's easy to share. It has my own custom domain. I can add buttons to here. So for example, if I'm sharing this on Twitter, no, not Twitter, Instagram or TikTok, where you're only allowed to have one single link, well, you want to take the most advantage that you can from that one single link. So that way I'm sharing this link where it has my email, my messenger, and I haven't finished edit editing this, but I'll add more buttons. Hey, go check out these deals, check out the latest video, subscribe to my newsletter, see my other social media accounts, and all of that from this single smart page. It's super useful to use it in those cases. Now there's several things that you can customize here, like colors, buttons, backgrounds, logos, and so on and so forth. Share settings, um, we can add our own custom domain. So for example, here's my custom domain, and it's bio, okay? I haven't added any of these because obviously I need to edit. And again, we can edit the advanced options. We can view the page analytics, the leads, and block analytics if you like. So you have all of those for the smart pages, okay? But basically, overall, that is Switchy. And basically, that's how most link shorteners work. A little bit of features missing on other link shorteners and maybe some other features on link shorteners. But Switchy is a pretty good option for your link shortening, okay? It has most of the features that you might need. Hell, I'm using it, so it's pretty good. So you can grab that deal starting at $39. If you are good with the click amount limits that it's providing, then you're good to go with just that amount. But if you need more, then I recommend double, multiple stack. And it's just gonna depend how many clicks you have, how many clicks you're using right now, or how many clicks you think you might need in the future because these deals finish, all right? So you might want to grab it before it finishes. Well, there you go. I hope you liked this video. I showed you why you might need a link shortener. You decide if this is a good deal for you or you might look for another deal that you might like. I hope this video was helpful. You liked it. If you guys want to grab that deal, that link will be in the description. It gives you a small commission. It won't cost you a single cent more than what it says there already, but it helps me out to make these videos for you guys. I thank y'all for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.